watching us. Wherever I go, they follow me and watch. Please go away. When you've settled in, we must discuss the estate. If you're not going to farm it, I could use some more grazing land. Yes, all right. Edward, will you forgive me if I speak frankly? Yes, of course. It's about Sarah Mandeville. She'll make the place very comfortable for you, and uh, she'll be well looked after, but I think you should advertise for a proper housekeeper. You see, Edward, uh, I know you find her attractive, and she is, but I know her reputation, and at the risk of sounding rather Victorian, I want to tell you that she has, well, she's ruined the lives of several men. She wanders in and out of my life like a dream. I beg your pardon? I'll tell. I can't stop thinking about it. The children have noticed. They watch us all the time. Edward. I'm sorry. I was thinking about... I was miles away. You were, weren't you? We've done very well. Kitchen, drawing room, bedroom. What should we do today? Suggest something, Edward. For God's sake, Edward, do I have to ask you?
I thought you were going to sleep all day. What time is it? It's nearly lunchtime. You hungry? I could eat you. Come on. I'll fix you some lunch. Edward. Mm hmm? Do you trust Mr. Prescott? Yeah. He seems honest. Do you know much about the law? <laughs> Not a thing, why? What's wrong? stir him into action. If he knows where the money is, he's going to get it as soon as possible. I'll go over a little earlier tomorrow. Prescott, pulling a trick like that. You're going to have to stay a bit closer to our friend Edward over the next few days. That won't be hard. Hmm? Nothing. Have you any idea where it is? I 